if I sat you down with a bowl full of sugar and a spoon, like there's only so much of that you're going to eat. But right, I caramelize that and I put it on top of some popcorn and add a little bit of salt, and all of a sudden it's it's magic. Where are we at with sugar? Is it good? Is it bad? Is there a time and place? Should we get rid of it altogether? What's the evidence say about sugar right now? A lot of people could focus on reducing their sugar intake, but in reality, when they do that, they're they're just t decreasing their intake of hyperpalatable, nutrient poor, calorie dense foods. Right? I'm just going to say that again and again and again because I think that's that's where most of this leads. Hyperpalatable foods are essentially this trifecta, usually of processed fats, processed carbohydrates, um, and some combination of salty and sweet in in you know in differing amounts but if it's a dorito it's more salty but there's a little bit of sugar in there and if it's um popcorn then it's a little bit it's like sweet but there's a little bit of salty in there and that combination just you know makes us over overeat it they are there are scientists who perfect this amount where you know like once you pop you can't stop right it, you never get, you don't get palate fatigue, which is what you would normally get, right? If I if I sat you down with a bowl full of sugar and a spoon, like there's only so much of that you're going to eat. But right, I caramelize that and I put it on top of some popcorn and add a little bit of salt, and all of a sudden it's it's magic.